welcome back in this video we'll discuss about organization block in short it's called ov in this project we have taken three organization block one is ov1 another two is 121 and 122 actually why we have taken that ov in our project ov is the block that will interface your plc cpu operating system and your user program and what is user program user program are that you have written the code for the process running and that user program will not execute will not work if you not call in any organization block it can be ob1 or another ob 10 30 35 like this but you have to call your user program function or function block in organization block okay let's see a small example click right button on empty space it will open that dialog from that dialog insert new object function or function block function block and function there is a difference that function block use the instantaneous data block and function will not use that okay i will use for now function it is in letter language okay now i am making a simple logic that doll by using memory bit here okay this one use as a start button that m10.0 and m10.1 as a stop button and m10.2 as a output motor command and i will hold because this is no by default it will be a zero when you push it will give a one from that power rail it will pass the power through this nc contact to output when you release it will again stop so we have to hold so i will hold by no contract using the output so when you when you push that no contact it will pass the power from power rail to output and that will energized and here it will be energized too so if you release this one it will hold okay here i will use m10.2 okay now i will simulate going to run p that will work for run mode and you can download the program run program mode okay so now i am click that symmetric 300 station it will select the hardware and cpu that means you can now download hardware setting plus s7 program okay okay now our project is downloaded to our virtual cpu here now if i go to monitor this fc1 by clicking here it is it should be downloaded here okay if i click see it is going online but it is not executing see it is not executing it is not green why it is not green because this program is in the cpu but it is not executed because cpu operating system is not interface by using ob so until you call that function in ob it will not execute so here i have taken already as ob1 that is cyclic execution i will call that function fc1 in in, in main ob1 okay you can just drag and drop in here or you can write call like this call fc1 okay now download okay now if you go here see 
it is now monitoring means it is executing and here you can see the run mode is showing playing left to right left to right it is executing so until you call the user program in any organization block it will not execute by the cpu operating system because it is in when you download it will be in the cpu ram but it is not executing again i am deleting this one and download okay now if you if you going to monitor this and check it is not executing okay now i am I will show you that FC1 is in your CPU. Okay, just go online. It will show the all block that present in the CPU. Here you can see the SFB02, SFB54, SFC02, uh, SFC108 means that at the system function and function block that will present in the cpu and you have in your project you have taken three ob and fc that also present in cpu ram memory but it is not executing it will execute when you call that function in organization block okay so we have taken and show you how organization block is work now i am now i am telling you that the what is ob1 ob1 is the cyclic execution block that is pre cycle pre cycle organization block that means if you call hundred of blocks hundred of function that you have made in your going up right? that you have made in your project uh, write written code in that function and you have you have call in ob1 one by one like fc call fc1 then call fc2 like this fc2 is not present that's why it is read so if you call 100 of block it will execute first this one then this one one by one it will execute when it is finished the execution it will start again by fc1 so it is cyclic and it is not there is no constant time to execute because uh, maybe it is taken one millisecond for one cycle execution second cycle maybe it will take 1.1 millisecond so it is not constant time but for uh, so it and the interval time also different but if you going to f1 see that it is called uh, it is telling that organization block are interface between operating system and user program and also there are the ob different types of ob organization block and it is used different purpose so ob1 call the free cycle organization block and there is time of day interrupt cycling interrupt hardware interrupt that time of day interrupt will work once in a year or once in a day once in a month how you have set the organization properties organization block properties that will scan by this time that no default time it is specified means it will execute by your set time it will execute once in a year once in a minute once in a day once in an hour like this okay how you have set it will work and it is priority two and ob1 is priority one okay and ob30 here you can see that by default interval time is 5 second and here it is 1 second means it will execute once in every 1 second it will execute once in a 5 second it will execute 
every 10 millisecond after every 10 millisecond it will execute for one cycle okay i will show and this hardware interrupt will execute when any hardware interrupt is detected that your input output module if you select the hardware interrupt hardware diagnostic that diagnostic um, when occurred that time that organization block is called okay so that organization block when or um, when execute ob 40 ob 30 or 35 that time ob1 will not execute it will pause means all the all the organization block ob20 ob30 35 that will pause the execution of ob1 so it is most common this one is the most common organization block that we will use for our program but it is not the fastest fastest priority fastest priority this uh, number one means it is the lowest priority if ob uh, that ob33 is used in your program and when ob33 and ob1 both are same cycle for execution so which one will execute execute will do by ob33 when the execution finished ob33 after that ob one will start again where it is left okay it will not start from the beginning it will start where it left means uh, if hundred of block inside the ob1 and uh, it was when 50 block uh, execute so after execute of ob33 or ob35 it will start from that 50 block later other block will execute okay now i will show that if i call the organization block that ob 30 okay and if i call that fc1 in ob here i will just drag and drop that fc function here and download okay now i will show that by monitor see it is like a pause it is execute see it is execute again pause it is execute and pause because it is the interval of five second after every five second every five second interval it will execute for one cycle and again pause after see it is execute and pause it execute or pause okay so this cyclic interrupt ob30 execute for every five second now if i call the organization block ob 36 or ob 35 35 ob 35 will execute every 100 millisecond so i will delete from here and execute and call fc1 okay fc1 i will call from here okay now okay here also i will download okay now see if i if i going now if i open ob1 there is no function call in ob1 if i open ob30 that the interval of one file that the interval of 5 seconds it is not call any function if i open 35 that is okay mm, again okay 
if I call see only OB35 has the function call FC1 now I am open that one and monitor see it is monitoring like this okay it is execute every 10 sorry every 100 millisecond but if you call other function that will execute more fast if you call other organization block that will execute faster than 35 uh, suppose 38 okay and if I will I will delete this function from here and download again so it will m cyclic interrupt which is empty organization block now I will call the function block sorry I will call the organization block ob38 and if I open and call the function here download okay save okay now I will open fc1 and monitor see it is faster it is showing here faster also it is physically physically it is scanning faster so in this video we have shown you that OB, OB organization block is the interface block for your user program and CPU operating system and mostly we will use the organization block OB1 to call the function block and other organization block will purposely use there we have need uh, in time time cycle interrupt or hardware interrupt that will use in future and mostly will use all the function in OB1 that is free cycle organization block it will execute again and again after complete each cycle okay thank you